Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, December 26, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more persons who are in the path of these tropical systems so that we can keep everyone safe especially during the peak months of Atlantic hurricane season that's August through to October. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives and even your church brethren and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Please ensure that you guys utilize the progress bar located at the bottom of the video as well as the timestamps that are located not only in the comment section but the video description so that you can skip to the points in the video that you want to see the most in order to save time because you know that the videos over here with the Jamaica can be very long. Leave a comment down below letting me know that there's been like in your ear recently. Also, feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the feature though then your specific era. Alright, so we're going to be looking at what the Euro and the GFS supercomputer models are showing for the next 7 days. So keep your eyes focused at the 168 hour timestamp at the top. As well as across the Caribbean. Because you know we're looking for all of this that we see on the key on the right. The reds, oranges, yellows, greens represents inches of rainfall. Alright, so we can see that as we head into Friday, we have most of the moisture to our south, but that doesn't stop some of the moisture to be coming into portions of the island for sure. Maybe some isolated shores. Saturday, we have something similar, isolated shores, especially during the afternoon hours. Sunday, we see definitely similar to Saturday. Monday, showing more of the rainfall to the south of us, but we can still get now some isolated afternoon rainfall. Tuesday, Definitely less rainfall, we see more whites than anything else Tuesday into Wednesday. Definitely less rainfall, it's going to be a drier pattern next week for sure. And we're going to be stopping it right there at the end of the 168 hours. So this is valid for Thursday, January 2. We can see a line of showers right here associated with the frontal system stretching all the way into the Bahamas as well as the Western Caribbean. Let us see if the latest GFS that just came out an hour ago is showing something similar at the end of the 168 hours. So we can see that as we head into Friday, we have a lot of moisture to the south of us, to the west of us. And we have some lingering rainfall that's going to be affecting us during the afternoon for sure. Saturday, definitely some lingering isolated showers, so to Sunday. And then as we head into Monday, you now we see that there's definitely less rainfall. We see more of the rainfall to the south and to the west of the island of Jamaica. Heading into Tuesday, something similar to Monday. Heading into Wednesday, something similar to Tuesday. And then we're going to be stopping it right there at Thursday, January 2. And what do we see? We see that there's going to be a lot of moisture to the south of Jamaica. Was that seen on the Euro? Not so much. We see some moisture more so closer to eastern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. We see more of the moisture closer to Jamaica's south coast. And regarding the frontal system that we saw on the Euro, we see it somewhere right in here, coming into portion of northern Bahamas and eastern Florida. And we also see another frontal system across the Gulf of Mexico. We don't see that on the Euro. So some contrast, some differences according to what both the Euro and the GFS models are showing. So we have to stay updated to see exactly what unfolds at the end of the next seven days. And regarding the accumulated precipitation forecast, this map from the GFS and this map from the Euro are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until January 2, 2025. And we can see that the most in the weather rainfall should be where we have the dark reds into the purples and the pinks that we know represents what we see on the key on the right we know the dark red represents two inches of rainfall the purples into the pink represents three to five inches of rainfall and the six to the eight um inches of rainfall represent the peach colors and we can see a lot of that touching all the way from the eastern united well from the eastern gulf all the way down into western cuba the eastern portions of the yucatan peninsula belize sections of Northern Honduras, Eastern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, into Western Venezuela. We see that that's where the brunt of the rainfall that could cause some flood, um, isolated flash flooding, is definitely being shown. We see that even the GFS supercomputer model is showing something uh, similar. And if we take a look at the close up of Jamaica regarding the total accumulated precipitation that's expected, we can see that we don't have much to expect. The euro showing more blues and some slight greens that represents anywhere from maybe 5 millimeters all the way up to maybe 20 millimeters of rainfall. The GFS a bit more robust, 
especially across the northeast where we see some slight yellows going all the way up to 30 millimeters of rainfall and we can see that both maps are in consensus that the most rainfall should be affecting northeastern parishes like St. Anne, St. Mary, especially Portland maybe spilling into section of eastern St. Thomas. We'll see exactly what unfolds and I'll definitely be here to keep you posted with what occurs. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for the evening. We can see that we have a frontal system right here, reaching all the way from northern section of North Atlantic all the way down to the northern Bahamas, right there to the east of Florida. We can see numerous troughs as well as frontal systems across the northern portion of North Atlantic to the north of the main development region. A trough right here affecting the Dominican Republic and another trough right here to the east of Nicaragua. And we can see a ridge of high pressure right here that we know is responsible for sending all of the easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can make out all of these entities. First of all, the clouds associated with the frontal systems and the numerous troughs right here across the waters to the north of the main development region. The frontal system right here that's stretching all the way down into portion of eastern Florida. And we can see the numerous clouds associated with numerous troughs across the Caribbean right here. Another trough right in here affecting the Dominican Republic just like what we saw. And we can make out the low level flow of the low level patches of clouds being pushed from east to west. All courtesy of the ridge of high pressures easterly flow. We'll be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean weather later on. Let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, Thursday, December 26, 2024. It was stated that rain was in store for parts of northern and eastern parishes during Thursday morning. And we know northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Chilana, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. Eastern parishes, and we're talking about Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, and St. Andrew. And what ended up happening? As early as 8.10 a.m., the Cube and Doppler radar images were posted here on our Twitter page. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that these posts... <coughs> Excuse me. These posts aren't only made here on our Twitter page with the Jamaica, but they're also made on our Instagram page with the dot Jamaica, on our TikTok page with the Jamaica, and on our Facebook page with the Jamaica 876. So if you have one of those social media platforms, Please ensure that you follow us there as you make posts throughout the day that you can't afford to miss. So we can see the Cuban Doppler radar images that were posted at that time and they highlighted that we're receiving some greens and some yellow colors across eastern Jamaica. We know the green and yellow colors represents moderado, that's moderate rainfall, and Fuerte, that's stronger heavy rainfall across those spots for sure. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica before the sun went down, we can make out that there wasn't much activity taking place. We saw the milky white cirrus clouds being sheared off to the northeast, but we don't see much in the way of cloud cover showers and thunderstorm activity across the island at all. So I guess what was predicted didn't come to fruition at all. Just to show you that these models are not set in stone all the time. Sometimes they fail for sure. And even the accum well, even the inferred satellite images confirm this. You can definitely see the upper level clouds being streaked up towards the northeast by that upper level wind shear. And we can confirm on the Flatbridge Cam from C Jamaica's YouTube channel showing the live cam at around 3.48 p.m. showing that it was definitely dry, definitely a bit overcast for the most part. Nothing too significant in terms of bad weather. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that if you'd like to see more live streams like this, just subscribe to see jamaica they have not only flat bridge but halfway tree crossroads and they are planning on increasing the amount of cameras that they have in and around the island so subscribe today so that you don't miss out if we take a look at the very latest still image from uh, the weather nurse website let's see what's happening right now the latest still image is as of 0025 utc so that's as of 7 25 pm so it just came out eight minutes ago considering that it's 7 33 pm right now and all we can see are some upper level clouds, especially off to our west with all of those blues and greens. Doesn't mean that there's any rainfall underneath all of that at all. If we actually take a look at the Doppler radar images to confirm what we're seeing right now in terms of rainfall, we do see some rain bands right here to the southeast of St. Thomas. Maybe some moderate rainfall out to sea. And we can see it actually matching out with at least some clouds, some patches of grays or whitish colors that represent some cloud cover so i guess it is kind of making sense in a way 
if we take a look at the Guantanamo Bay Cuban naval radar imagery, not seeing much across Jamaica, Haiti, maybe some sprinkles in and around eastern Cuba. But regarding the Cayman radar, we see some rainfall to the west of the Cayman Island. We see a lot of that being streaked up towards the northeast by that upper level wind shear. We also see some isolated shores to the southwest of that island as well. If you take a look at what's happening right now, the crossroads cam not showing much in the way of bad weather at all. Definitely fear tonight. People in their vehicles going about their business for sure as of this hour, 7.35 p.m. Taking a look at the temperatures right now, we can see that we have 26 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 25 degrees Celsius in Kingston, and by about 4 a.m. on Friday, temperatures should dip down to about 25 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 23 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is valid for 18th on Friday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Friday, and we can see Jamaica right here still getting in on those slight orange colors that represent up to 2 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures, like what we see on the key on the right. I know the normal temperatures for the month of December across Jamaica are around 87 degrees Fahrenheit, and when 87 degrees Fahrenheit is converted to degrees Celsius, we're talking about 30.6 degrees Celsius, so we should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperature on a Friday. And if that's going to be a bit too hot for you, we have some tips right here to beat the heat. It states here, when outside, seek shade, try eating cold food such as salads and fruits, make sure you get enough sleep and rest if you're feeling tired. Take a cool shower or bath to help you cool down. And ensure that you drink lots of water even if you're not thirsty. Put away the sugar drinks, drink water instead. And we're giving thanks that according to my JPS online, they have no maintenance outage advisories in place for any part of the island. So nobody will be experiencing a poor outage for the rest of the year, apparently. And we're indeed grateful for that because we know that when we have poor outages, the temperatures can definitely be exacerbated with the lack of fan or AC to cool us down. If we take a look at the dry air map, not much change. A lot of the dry air is still across the open waters of the main development region, the eastern Caribbean, the northern portion of North Atlantic, off the east coast of the United States, and the Gulf of Mexico right here. All of the yellows, oranges, and reds can be seen there. We know that represents what we see on the key on the bottom. Dry air in general. And wherever we see all of the blues into the grays, that's where we have a lot of moist air for sure. And it makes sense that there is a lot of moist air across the central to the western Caribbean, including Jamaica. If we take a look, <coughs> excuse me, at the Saharan dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Friday, we can see all of the browns represent the Saharan dust across the eastern main development region, across northern South America, across section of the Caribbean, passing to the south of Jamaica and heading straight into Nicaragua and Honduras. Jamaica is somewhere right here, enjoying the clear and fair weather because you know the siren dust is nothing that we want to see at all the siren dust can definitely cause hazy skies not to mention trigger some amount of respiratory illnesses in some people and we're indeed grateful that we don't have the saharan dust in our neck of the woods if we take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow this map from the year and this map from the GFS are both showing some light shades of blues to dark shades of blues that represent what we see on the key on the bottom. That's the 0 0.5 for meter wave height, all the way up to 1.5 meter wave height. We can see the waters to the north of Jamaica, 1.3 meter wave height for tomorrow. Waters to the south of Jamaica, 1.2 meter wave height. And that's because of the winds that are expected. We see more dull greens to light to bright shades of greens. That represents anywhere from 5 to maybe up to 15 knot winds for sure. Maybe gusting close to 20 knots for sure. And we see the flow of the winds coming in from the east. And regarding the close up of Jamaica, you can see what's expected. An easterly flow for sure on the north coast. Winds averaging up to 15 knots on the south coast, averaging up to 18 knots. And we see that we have the least amount of winds across central and western parishes. So we might just get in on some isolated afternoon rainfall across those areas wherever we have the air piling up. That's where the diurnal convection likes to build up. And the upper level winds still coming in from the southwest. It could definitely favor more overcast skies across northern Jamaica if we get that afternoon rainfall for sure. But given how dry things are becoming, <coughs> it would make sense if we don't get much rainfall at all. But the rainfall forecast maps are showing rainfall. This map from the Euro and this one from the GFS are both showing 6 a.m. on Friday. And we're seeing the blues represent rainfall across second of St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland for sure. Maybe even second of Eastern St. Thomas. Let's see if it actually unfolds because we see the consensus on both the supercomputer models. 
skipping ahead now to about 4 p.m. on Friday. Very interesting. Both the Euro and the GFS malls are in consensus that sections of central and western parishes in Jamaica could receive some isolated shores. The Euro are trying to incorporate more of eastern Jamaica, not so much on the GFS either way. Both accumulated precipitation forecast maps are showing rainfall somewhere across Jamaica within the next 24 hours. Not a lot. The Euro is showing up to at least 0.44 of an inch of rainfall. GFS showing to up to at least 0.34 of an inch of rainfall. Either way, we'll take it. We're in the month of December. We usually receive less rainfall during this month across the island in general. In Kingston, we usually receive up to 25 millimeters of rainfall. That's about an inch of rainfall. And in Montego Bay, we usually receive close to 4 inches of rainfall. That's about 90 millimeters of rainfall. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that if you'd like to see what your specific parish usually receives for the month of December or for the entire year for that matter, you can visit weatherandclimate.com and that website will show you that information. And you can use this nice graphic right here that converts rainfall from inches to millimeters that we receive on the rain gauge. We know that one inch of rainfall is about the same as 25 millimeters of rainfall. All right, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let us focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So as stated, we have a lot of clouds bringing some overcast skies, some thunder showers this section of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, some of this affecting section of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama getting in on the action. So too section of the Windward Islands, some spotty isolated showers pushing from east west. And we see a lot of activity to the north of Puerto Rico affecting the Dominican Republic, as well as the Bahamas and Florida. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the northeastern Caribbean, let us see what's happening over there. We can see that there's some rainfall to the north of the British Virgin Islands, some rainfall across northern and western Puerto Rico. And if we load, load these images from earlier today, we can see that sections of Puerto Rico were definitely getting on some isolated shores today. Not much affecting the Leeward Islands, but if we take a look at the Barbados radar, we can make out some easterly flow bringing some isolated shores to section of Barbados as we speak more. To affect the island tonight. Some of this also affecting sections of Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Grenada. We can see some of that east of Tobago. Tobago could definitely get into some of the action and maybe eventually get into Trinidad. And if we take a look at the weather, we have uploaded our images. We can see some rainfall across western Cuba, section of Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, northern Honduras, the waters to the east of Nicaragua. We can also see some rainfall across sections of Colombia, northwestern Venezuela, right there. And if we take a look at where the rainfall is expected within the next 24 hours, both maps from the year and the GFS are showing all the rainfall expected from now up until 10 p.m. on Friday. And we can see that the most rainfall should be across eastern portions of the Gulf, the Yucatan Peninsula, western Cuba, sections of the Cayman Islands, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, western Venezuela for sure, sections of Cuba, the Dominican Republic, northern Haiti, Puerto Rico, the US and British Virgin Islands for sure waters to the south of Jamaica and we can see some rainfall into Suriname French Guiana right there and we see that both the year and the GFS models are in consensus with this forecast I know that when they're in consensus like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for watching